ഹായ് എവരിബഡി ഐ എം ഡോക്ടർ ജുബിൽ പി മാത്യു കൺസൾട്ടൻ്റ് കാർഡിയോളജിസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ സെൻറ്റ് ജെയിംസ് ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽ ചാലക്കുടി ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് സെർട്ടൻ പോയിന്റ്സ് അബൌട്ട് കൊളസ്ട്രോൾ കൊളസ്ട്രോൾ ഈസ് അൻ എസെൻഷ്യൽ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് അവർ ബോഡി സിസ്റ്റം ഇറ്റ്സ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ ഇൻഡക്ടൽ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ഹ്യൂമൻ ടിഷ്യൂസ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സിന്തസൈസ്ഡ് ഇൻ അവർ ബോഡി ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് യൂസ്ഡ് ഫോർ ദ സിന്തസിസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഹോർമോൺസ് വൈറ്റമിൻ ഡി ആൻഡ് ബയൽ ആസിഡ്സ് വിച്ച് ഡൈജസ്റ്റ് ഫാറ്റ് അവർ ബോഡി സിന്തസൈസ് ദ സം എമൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് ദ കൊളസ്ട്രോൾ and our body acquires cholesterol from the food we take and to maintain the cholesterol to a certain amount we should restrict the foods with high cholesterol content since cholesterol is a fatty substance it cannot be dissolved in blood which is watery in nature so the cholesterol is transported in circulation in various forms called as lipoproteins Lipoproteins are the molecules which have an inner component of lipid molecule and outer component of protein molecule. There are two types of lipoproteins in the blood. One is low density lipoproteins that is also called as bad cholesterol. These lipoproteins transmit cholesterol to the various organs of our body. It is why it is called as bad cholesterol. and it is found that the level of ldl cholesterol is directly proportional to the different cardiovascular diseases like heart attack mis and also stroke and another cholesterol is hdl cholesterol high density lipoprotein that is also called as healthy cholesterol because transports cholesterol from the tissues and blood vessels to various parts so that helps in the reverse cholesterol transport and the level of the hdl cholesterol that is considered as a negative risk factor and the level at least more than 45 mg per deciliter and males and more than 55 mg per deciliter in females is considered as a negative coronary risk factor and another important bad cholesterol in our body is triglyceride and cholesterol is measured the because of the rise cholesterol we the patient will not usually have symptoms and we usually diagnose dyslipidemia by getting a regular fasting lipid profile value who recommends we should have every person should have a fasting lipid profile value at more than 20 years of age and cholesterol level is measured in the unit called as milligram per deciliter and there are certain limits to keep the target level to maintain our health total cholesterol should be less than 200 mg per deciliter and ldl cholesterol should be less than 100 mg per deciliter in persons without significant risk factors but in persons with a cad or post angioplasty persons patients it should be less than 70 mg per deciliter and the triglyceride level should be less than 150 mg per deciliter and hdl level should be at least more than 45 mg per deciliter we can control our cholesterol level by adherence to a healthy diet healthy lifestyle regular exercise quit smoking and avoidance of stress etc the foods which contain plenty of cholesterol are red meat high fat dairy products egg milk and milk products etc and we should limit our the uh, our food containing high amount of the cholesterol and we have to include high foods with high dietary fibers nuts legumes green leafy vegetables plenty of fruits and plenty of water and we should restrict the sugar of foods with the high salt and sugar in sugar content and also there are various medications in the market to control dyslipidemia out of which the most importance are statins there are many statins in the market and the most important are atorvastatin and rosvastatin these are the drugs which are used to reduce ldl cholesterol but the capacity of statins to increase the hdl cholesterol is not much and to control the triglycerides statins has less value and for which we should use fibrates to decrease the triglycerides and to increase the hdl level and there are also other drugs like uh, cetp inhibitors bile acid sequestrant there are other drugs available in the market are bile acid sequestrants cetp inhibitors and these drugs are 
mainly used in resistant dyslipidemia and in persons who cannot get adequate cholesterol level with the statin therapy or in patients with a significant dyslipidemia like especially in patients with the familial dyslipidemias thank you